since it is a disease of the immune system, if, we, if you correct the bone marrow cells, the cells of the bone marrow, the stem cells that give birth to the immune system, then you should be able to correct the disease. An 18-year-old man became the first patient ever treated with gene therapy called prime editing here at Montreal St. Justin Hospital. It was used to correct directly in the patient's hematopoietic stem cells, a genetic mutation responsible for chronic granulomatous disease, CGD. The gene editing technology was part of an international clinical trial. By day 15, we could see that uh, it worked. 50% of the cells were corrected. And by day 45, 66% of the cells were corrected. And if you tell me tomorrow that I do a bone marrow transplantation and I correct 66% I, I correct of the cells, I would say, oh, that's a success. Normal treatment for CGD is similar for certain leukemias where a patient's bone marrow is destroyed with very aggressive chemotherapy followed by a bone marrow transplant. But for the patient, this new innovation comes with several several risks like the body rejecting the transplant. But prime editing techniques avoid some of these problems. To say someone is cured, you need follow up. We are optimistic, things are doing well. We are 45 days, now 50 days after the transplantation, after the autologous gene therapy, things are doing well. We are optimistic that he's going to be cured. The patient and his family were very emotional, said Dr. Eli Haddad, the clinical trials principal investigator. The plan was to treat nine other patients with the same disease. However, the American biotechnology firm that developed it, Prime Medicine, suspended the clinical trial after only one patient due to increased costs. It's very sad still for the other patients, and the patients' associations are also very bitter about that. And it tells us that, you know, this type of strategy and treatment should belong to academic centers with financial uh, money, with, uh, sorry, with public money, uh, uh, public funding. The company said their technology will be redirected to other diseases and areas they seem to be more, quote, interesting to them. Dr. Haddad says this should be given away for free or be made available to cure patients rather than for profits. With this technology of prime addicting, you can basically correct 80, 90 percent of the mutations. So it opened possibilities for many, many uh, genetic disorders, and uh, it is real hope for this strategy now. And we are very happy that the first in the world has happened at Saint Justine, actually. In Montreal, the Hostelier Hastier, City News.